wabarakatuh and have a very good day. Today, I'm going to share how to design reinforced concrete column, uni axial short brace column. So, given here the cross sectional of the column with dimension of 275 for the minor axis and 3 to 5 millimeter for the major axis and the acting moment here for the minor axis is 30 kilonewton meter and 45 kilonewton meter for the major axis. Stated here is the design specification for this column. This column is classified as a short brace column and then the characteristic strength of the concrete is 30 MPA. Characteristic strength of the steel FYK is 500 MPA. Effective length for the major axis is 3,500. Effective length for the minor axis is 3,350 millimeter. The slenderness ratio lambda Z is 25.5 and lambda Y 30.3. Then, assumption of the diameter being here is 8 mm and diameter bar 16 mm. This proposed column is located at the location that is exposed to the exposure class at C2 with fire resistance of 60 minutes and axial load 1000 kN. As usual, the first step we have to do is we have to calculate the nominal cover of the column. So, the C nominal is equal to C minimum plus deviation. Then we have to check the C minimum based on these three conditions, fire resistance, bond requirement, and also exposure condition. So, I do already explain how to calculate this in my previous video. You may refer to my previous video. Based on this calculation, then I got the C nominal is equal to 35 millimeter, and I do round up into 40 millimeter. But if you would like to stick on 35 millimeter, you can stick to 35 millimeter. I just would like to try if we provide 40 millimeter, either the section is fail or not. So we will have a look on how I'm designing my reinforced concrete column, uni axial short brace column. So in un sorry. By axial column. So in a by axial column, the first one we have to know how to determine the design moment. So the design moment we have to calculate for the Z axis and Y axis, and it should be at with additional moment due to the imperfection moment. This imperfection moment is normally acting as a factor of safety for the additional load that we apply to the structure. So if we are going to apply the load to the structure, there's possibility miscellaneous in the term of calculation during we transfer load from the element. So this, the imperfection moment, will help the structure from failure from the additional load that we miscalculate. So here are the steps how to determine the design moment for the bi short brace column. So the first one you have to calculate the imperfection moment. So M imperfection is equal to NED agent load time with the EI, where EI is equal to LO over 400. Then you have to calculate the M imperfection for the Z and also Y axis because we have two moments that is acting to the column at the minor axis and also at the major axis. Then we get the answer here. Okay, so please remember the L not here, you use the right value, which is for the Z axis, you, you use LOZ, and then for the Y axis, you use LOY. Then you calculate the design moment, including the effect of imperfection. Your MEDZ, your design moment for the Z axis is equal to MZ plus with the M imperfection Z, and then MY plus M imperfection Y, then you get the design moment that you are going to use for the column what are the next what is the next process the next process you have to check the bi axial bending what is the purpose of checking the bi axial bending so i do already explain in my introduction of the reinforced concrete column design before this so i will explain it again the importance of check bi axial bending if we have to consider 
either the column that is designed due to the buy agile condition moment. So we have to proceed on additional checking for the buy agile so that the reinforcement that we provide is appropriate for the column and it will not fail due to the moment or load that we apply. So the condition is like this. So you may refer to your euro code in the in the class. So I'll check here which is the right class for this checking for the by Azure. So give me a moment. Okay, so you may refer to class 5.8.9 in your euro code. So it's explaining how to check this by Azure condition. So here you have to check these two conditions. This ratio EY over H time with EZ over B and also EZ over B over EY over H. Before that, you have to calculate your eccentricity due to Z and also eccentricity due to the Y. So by using this formula. Then the condition, it should be more than two. So if it is more than two, we have to check the by Azure bending. Then you have to check the ratio between the uh, slenderness ratio for Y and Z exists. Lambda Y over Lambda Z and Lambda Z over Lambda Y. So in my case here, I do get the answer. One, we have to check the by Azure bending. The other one is ignore. So if these kinds of condition happen in your calculation, in your design process, then you have to consider it is a by Azure bending. Therefore, you will have the further check or verify the by Azure condition of the reinforcement that you provide for your column. So if you get both condition is ignore, no need to check this condition by the first uh, calculation determination of the reinforcement design, then you may make a conclusion for the column design. Okay, I will show to you later on how it's happened in consider the by Azure bending check. Okay, next process is reinforcement design. Okay, for the short brace column, so this is the process. So in the reinforcement design, the first one we have to check the effective depth for both exists, which is the H exists and also B exists or minor exists or major exists. So the H prime is equal to 3 to 5 minus 40 minus 8 minus 16 over 2. Then I got the answer to 6, 9 millimeter. And then for the B prime is equal to 275 minus 40 minus 8 millimeter minus 16 over 2, 219 millimeter. Then we have to check this ratio. The moment, uh, design moment for the Z axis over H prime, then design moment for the Y axis over B prime. So then we have to compare either MEDZ over H prime or MEDY over B prime is less or more between each other. So in my case here, so MEDZ over H prime more than MEDY over B prime, therefore the critical axis should be the Z axis. That's why I'm using the M prime Z in order for me to design the reinforcement. So if you get the answer MEDZ over H prime, less than MEDY over B prime, you may use, therefore the critical axis will be the minor axis. Therefore, you may use the formula given in the Euro code, which is the MY prime is equal to MY plus beta over B prime over H prime time with MEDZ. So in my case here, the critical axis is the major axis. So I'm using M prime Z is equal to M E D Z plus B prime time with H prime over B prime time with M E D Y. So the beta is equal to 1 minus N over B H F C K. I got the answer 0 0.627. Then I calculate the M prime Z, which is 83.31 kilonewton meter. So this is the moment that we are going to use in this formula. So the next process, we have to calculate the D2 over H. This D2 over H is important for us to choose which graph that we are going to use in order for us to determine what is the AS or area of the reinforcement provided. So N over B H F C K is 0 0.63 and M prime over B H squared F C K is equal to 0 0.1. Then you choose the right uh, 
design chart that you're going to use in order for you to determine ASFYK over BHFCK. So I'll choose 0 0.2. As I said before, if you get the answer is 0 0.17, therefore you use 0 0.2 design chart. So I've got the answer here is 0 0.45 for AS FYK over BHFCK. Then as usual, we have to calculate the AS and then I provide here 6H25. Then we have to calculate the AS minimum and also AS maximum. So we have to check the reinforcement that we provide here should be in between AS minimum and AS maximum. I will not explain how to determine the AS minimum and AS maximum because I do already share in my previous uh, video. You may check in my previous video this, now we will continue on verify the biaxial bending what is the purpose to verify the biaxial bending the purpose of verification of the biaxial bending we would like to check either the reinforcement that we provide previously is correct or wrong or wrong and it is approximate value to the column section or not so here are the process the first one we have to take out this value which is the steel area for the all of the section and then for the z axis and also for the y axis so for the z axis is for the all section is 6h25 z axis is 6h25 and then for the y axis is 4h25 how do i come up with this section or these numbers of the reinforcement so normally for the z axis so we took the value from the reinforcement detail so which is acting uh at this section okay so one two three four five six because i why i do take from the minor as is because normally when we design we provide the enforcement for the for from the z exist at the minor as is from the y as is we provide at the major as is that's why i pro i write down over there is 4 h32 here Okay, before H25 here. Okay, so four numbers of the reinforcement. Okay, so then we have to calculate D2Z over H and also D2Y over B because we would like to calculate again, okay, the ASFYK over BHFCK. So NED so over BHFCK is same what, as what we used before. And then we have to calculate ASZFYK over BHFCK is equal to this is ASZ 2950, okay? Then we get the value is 0 0.55 and then we have to calculate the MRDZ value. So from, uh, how do I get this MRDZ over base squared FCK equal to 0 0.125 is from the design chart here. So NED over base FCK is 0 0.63 and then uh the sfyk over bhfck is 0 0.55 here okay i bring down here then i got the answer 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.25 estimation value okay so i've got the answer here for the first one is equal to 0 0.125 and then your mrdz you substitute this formula then you will get this answer here. So you repeat the same process for this uh, ASFYK over batch FCK. Okay, because both exist, I got the answer is 0 0.13 and 0 0.15. That it, that's why I'm using the same design chart. So if you get the answer here is different, so you have to use a different design chart. So please make sure you have to use a correct design chart as I do already told you how you to, you're going to refer to the design chart, which design chart that you're going to choose in order for you to calculate the SFYK over BHFCK. So next process, you have to calculate the NRD. NRD is equal to 0 0.567 FCK AC plus 0 0.87 FYK as provided. Then you uh, got the answer and then you calculate this ratio NED over NRD 0 0.357. So then you have to calculate the A value in order for you to substitute in this formula. Okay. So, because you would like to check the bi chart is fail or pass. Okay. 
So this table is not provided in your euro code or in your design appendix. So you have to remember this value. It's quite easy to remember this value. So don't ask me how you going to, re to, to remember it. So use your own method to remember this value because it is really, really simple to remember. Okay. So based on the interpolation, 0 0.357. So I've got the RA value here, 1.21, substitute in this value, and then I've got 1.02, which is bigger than 1, therefore the buy agile check pay, uh, fail. So we have to try to increase the as provided that we provide for the area of the column. So because the area that we propose for the reinforcement that is not enough to cater the bi agile moment that is acting on top of the column. So that's why we have to increase AI provided by providing a new reinforcement here. So in my case here, I propose, okay, I am proposing the new reinforcement CSH32, okay, for the column. So it's depend, okay, so... Uh, I will show to you how to approximately uh, increase the as provided here. So in my case, I just increase the numbers. And then uh, normally I assume based on this ratio, 1.02. And then you may try with increasing the as provided the biggest value from the previous one, but it's not that far. So I'm trying to provide it a bit bigger, a, a bit bigger what happened, okay? So, uh, I provide this H32 and then we do the same process again here and then I got the new NRD here and then I got the new A here. Okay, so I'll get the answer here is 0 0.6 is less than 1. The buy agile check is passed. So, what happened here? So, if the value is 0 0.6, it means that the buy agile check is passed. But we have to make sure that the reinforcement that we provide here is suitable to the column or not so i in my own opinion okay my own opinion in reinforced concrete design i believe that the reinforcement that i provide here is a bit okay higher than it should be so we have to make sure that the buy agile check here uh, the value is 0 0.9 0 0.8 or 0 0.75 and above so if it is 0 0.5 and below is quite very over designed to the column so means that the reinforcement that we provide for the column is over reinforced so what we have to do so if we get this value you may try okay the value between this 6 h32 and also here 6 h25 so you may combine uh, two types of two types of diameters for example you can provide here 4H25 plus 2H16. So that the area is much more bigger than this one, but much more lower than this one. Okay, around 3,000 something or 3,000 something. Okay, so this is how we provide or increase the as provided. In my case here, I didn't do that because uh, I would like to shorten the, the, the time. Okay, but if you would like to do, you have in appropriate way so you have to recalculate the buy agile check so that the buy agile value check ratio here is not lesser than 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 it's, it's, it's nearest to one okay so it's better and then after we get the new one and then we provide the link and also the maximum uh, for maximum spacing of the link okay so here are the formula as same as what we have done before. And then here are the reinforcement detailing by using the new one, 4H32 here, okay, at the corner and then another 2H32 at the center here. And then here are the detailing for H8275 at the center of the column length here, height here. And then at the lapping here is H8150. So I hope that by this hearing session, you really understand how to differentiate between uh, uni agile column and also by agile column design for the short column so if you have any question you may ask or comment in my video thank you that's it for today assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a very good day